Hey everybody, welcome to my office, uh, our classroom for the next two weeks, otherwise known as my house, where anything is possible. Uh, between a wife, two kids, three dogs and a cat, you never know what's going to interrupt us. So here we go. Um, it's some pretty crazy times we're living in, uh, as, as I'm sure most of you hopefully have heard. Um, uh, our president has declared us in a state of national emergency and shortly after that our governor and the director of the Utah State Board of Education came out and said that they would like us to suspend school for the next two weeks uh, moving to an online model of learning to decrease the social interactions there with mass numbers of people. Uh, it's an adventure. It's going to be new to all of us. Um, so, so this does mean that the school is what's on a soft shutdown. Uh, we as teachers are allowed to go in there for things that we need. And if there are packets and such that we need you guys to get, uh, you will be able to go in there and get those as well. Um, we're just avoiding having large groups of people there. Uh, any students with uh, IEPs or, or any other meetings like that should be expecting to hear from our SPED department. Um, other than that, we're going to move our learning online and go from there. Um, so what's it going to look like going forward then? Boom! You guys see that? Uh, my computer wigged out there and rather than re-recording the whole first part, I'm just going to splice it together. So uh, my plan moving forward, um, I've taken the survey so I know who does and doesn't have technology. With that uh, information, I will create online material for those with the computer and resources to do it. Uh, for those without the computer and resources to do it, I will create a packet um, that you can either pick up from the school uh, once I let you know it's there, or uh, we can find another way to get it to you. Um, now my basic plans for the week, let me just give you a breakdown. This is not exact, subject to change depending on how things work out. Uh, so literacy class, listen up. Uh, over the next couple of weeks, I expect you to read a book, and you're going to do a book report on that. I will give you more information for that uh, in the future, but just know that that's going to be a thing. Um, I will give you a couple of reading comprehension stories, probably two per week. They're just little half-sheet things with a couple of questions to answer to get your mind reading and, and thinking. Um, spelling, we're going to go ahead and put on hold until we get back. Uh, you do have the lists. They are online, still on my website. Feel free to continue studying those. I expect you all to get 100%. Um, I, we will do a writing assignment, one per week. We will type those into Utah Compose. Those without a computer will just have to handwrite it into the packet. Uh, and then grammar, there will be no official homework for it. But if you're viewing this on my website where I embedded it, then if you look down below, uh, there's a link to some grammar games. Feel free to play those just to kind of, you know, keep you up on what a noun, adjective, verb, etc. is. Uh, math class, your turn. Uh, we just barely introduced the new chapter on Friday. We're moving into metric measurement. King Henry danced uniquely down central Maine. Um, this chapter is only six lessons long. So over the next two weeks, my plan is that we complete this chapter. Uh, to review and test it when we get back. We'll see how that goes. Um, I will create video tutorials, a video teaching each of those lessons. Um, and then the students will be able to view those videos and do the assignments at their own pace. I will have the first video out on Tuesday, and then I'll try to have all six of them done by Friday so the students can just work at whatever speed they want, having all six of them done by the end of the two weeks. Uh, those that are working online, I will try to create an online form for them to, to fill out. If that doesn't work, um, I can send out a PDF of the assignment and they can fill it out and then snap a picture and send it to me. Or for those working out of the packet and you can't look at the online materials, I will give you a packet which has a reteaching with it. You'll just have a little bit more to work through with that. Um, I'm working on setting up a program called Get More Math. I actually learned about this at the liter or the the technology conference I was at last week. Um, I have a free trial of it from now until Jul uh, July of 2021. So I'm going to get the kids set up on that. Hopefully, um, I haven't yet though, and I've not used it before, so we'll see how that works. Uh, and then I have also put some math fact practice games linked down below as well. So check those out. 
Um, science, I am currently teaching Miss Forsyth's class weather. Uh, so my homeroom, you're going to have to look to Miss Bulkley to see what she expects of you for science. Um, right before we left, we did a bunch of experiments answering the question, is air there? Uh, I'm going to refilm a video of those experiments as a review for the kids who were there um, or as a teaching for those who weren't. And then for this first week of science, uh, I expect a writing for that as far as answering that question, is there there, and using those four experiments and those four, four details that we gathered from that as your proof and, and examples within the writing. Uh, more details on that will come. And then I will put together what I want for the following week and get back with you with more information on that. Um, as far as accountability goes, uh, we are expecting, or we are expected as the teachers, to be holding the students accountable. There will be grades that they wish us to enter into gradebook. Uh, the whole goal of this is that come the end of this two weeks, everything goes as planned. Uh, we'll be back in school as normal, and this will count as school, so we will not have to make these two weeks up. Uh, so please make sure your kiddos are doing the work um, and turning it in. I will be putting it into the grade book on, on, you know, and they will be held accountable for it. Um, as far as any questions for me, if there's any questions on the assignments, if you need any clarification, if there's any other reason you need to contact me, I will be available by email. If you wish, we can, I can be available by phone call, or we could even do a Skype if we want some sort of video conferencing to help with the reteaching of a subject. I'm, I'm good for any of that. Um, and then I'm just going to look at my list of questions here, which are ones that have been asked so far on the survey. Um, do we need more than one computer if we have multiple kids at the school? Um, the answer to that is no. The way I'm going to be working things at least is there's not any specific time that the kids need to be online. Uh, so if there is a specific time for the other students, then they can make sure they have the computer then. Um, it's our goal to not overload the kids. Uh, clearly, we're not going to be expecting, like our literacy block is a two-hour literacy block. We're not going to be expecting the kids to be doing 10 hours of literacy each week. Um, it is a slimmed down, scaled back version of school, but hopefully we can uh, still get some learning done, still count these as school days, and move on from there. Um, this does answer the question, will, be, will school be at the same time? Um, at least as far as I, my classes are concerned, it's going to be at a work at your own pace, do it when you want, get some done, take a break, go outside, play. Um, let's see, I had somebody concerned that they're not very good at technology. If you come to find that the technology part of it is too tough, uh, we can just get you a packet. That would work as well if the technology is not working out. Um, can they use a tablet or do they need a keyboard? Um, I think the on-screen keyboard for the tablets should work for anything that the students are going to need, so they could do it on both keyboard and computer. Uh, somebody was not sure what I meant by camera. Um, I might have us try a program called Flipgrid, which if I do, I'll get more into that. Um, one of the options on Flipgrid is video responses, so the students can talk to me through this video. Um, if the camera is not available for that, I, and I mean, I'm talking usually just like the little webcam like I've got and in this video to you now. Um, if the camera is not available for that, Flipgrid has other ways to respond, so that's not a big deal. It would just allow them to vary it up a little bit and break up the monotony. Um, and then the last question was, are you just checking out the possibilities of doing schoolwork at home or do we truly need to plan on it? Uh, at this point, uh, the government set up a ready, set, go plan. Ready was, we see it coming. We're going to get ready for it, set, it's closed. We are now in the go phase. Um, school is not going to be in session on Monday as far as the regular school day goes. Please do not bring your kids to school. Uh, for the next two weeks at least, uh, we will be working in this online environment. Um, I look forward to sharing this adventure with you guys. Uh, if you have any questions for me, it, hit me up the same way. Ah, it did it again. I lost audio there. Uh, my email, apratt at scholarcharter.org. A-P-R-A-T-T -T at scholarcharter.org. And just, just let me know. We're, we're in this together. 
Uh, it's going to be even more a team now, the trifecta of teacher, student, and parent. And, you know, let, let, let's take it on, take it head on, and we can do hard things. Thanks.